<sighs> this is D-Law causing pressure, forcing Russell Wilson to step up into the pocket, finished off by Alden Smith. D-Law doing his job in the run game, setting the edge, forcing the running back to cut back into the linebackers. This is D-Law rushing, standing, forcing Russell Wilson up into the pocket, incompletion, and a tackle by Alden Smith. This is D-Law here standing. I'm actually surprised that he dropped back in coverage and kind of took away Tyler Lockett there. Not bad. This is D-Law picking on the right tackle, but the ball is gone in two seconds. This is D-Law terrorizing the right side of the offense, making Russell Wilson step up, but Russell is magical. This is D-Law standing up. They're going to try to run the ball to the right, but the ball carrier is forced to bounce back because D-Law sets the edge nicely. D-Law versus the run. Y'all know he's good at this. D-Law is going to come off the ball. He's going to disengage from three different blocks, and he's going to super effort his way into a Russell Wilson pressure. I mean, there was some good coverage here, uh, but it was also D-Law's pressure that made things shake. And this is D-Law doing D-Law versus the run thing. D-Law didn't get the sack here, but he did beat up on his right tackle and he caused a bit of pressure. Russell's really good at keeping his eyes downfield and Antoine Woods actually finished here, but uh, D-Law did cause some pressure. I know it's not all Cowboys fans saying this, but a lot of Cowboy fans don't necessarily watch the game. They were more so evaluate a player based on what they haven't seen than what they have seen. And you know this is the case because people will say, Vach, I haven't seen D-Law. Does he suck? You see what I mean? But it's not what you're not seeing. It should be what you are seeing. So on a play-by-play -play basis, if you go take a look at D-Law, D-Law is making plays. Now, all plays don't show up in the game log. And based on player assignments, all those plays don't always necessarily end up in a static number. But D-Law is doing things to win. Now, let me be fair. Do I want more from D-Law? Sure. I want more from this entire defense because if Alden Smith is, is, is going to be tearing shit up, then I want D-Law to be tearing it up as well. But we're we're not going to sit up here and pretend like D-Law is playing bad. He's just kind of doing his job. All right. Now, I did want to talk about Alden Smith, right? And, and I'm going to talk about Alden Smith with a little bit of uh, with a little bit more detail and, and, you know, commentary because Alden Smith is doing fun things. Sacks are fun things. Um, D-Law setting the edge so a running back and bounce back isn't a fun thing. So I did the quick thing for D-Law. I just want to talk about Alden Smith for a little bit. And Alder Smith is winning with arm length and power. You know what I mean? Uh, he just uh, batted this ball down right here. But take a look at Alden's arms right here, right? For, look at look at this dude. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at Alden Smith's arm length, right? This is how he wins. He's barely leaned over. He's standing up for the most part, but he's just slightly leaned over. And he can touch his knees. I want y'all to get up, barely lean over. And try to touch your knees. A lot of y'all gonna tear your damn hamstring trying to pull it off. And that's how Alden is winning. Alden is a guy that can he can honestly roll out the bed. Got some camera movement, my bad. He can honestly roll out the bed and be a better pass rusher than whoever you got on your team because he doesn't have to be current. He's not necessarily relying on super nuanced pass rush moves to beat you. He's relying on him being more physically talented than you and his long arms separating your you from his chest plate. Even on this play, right? Like Dwayne Brown just ain't strong enough, right? Like it, 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 I don't, I don't understand. Like, yeah, Alder Smith is a big, strong dude, man. But like, but to be doing this, that's beast level stuff, you know. And to be fair, you know, we were, you know, he hasn't played ball in like five years. But this is the first time that I don't want to say first time because I don't really know the actual whatever, whatever. But he's sober now, you know, and he's not an old dude. He's like 30, 31 and pass rushes still get it done at 30 and 31. And he doesn't have the wear and tear that a normal 30, 31 year old pass rusher has on him, you know. So that could be a thing that's helping him. You know what I mean? So if if anything, we know that dude has played in this defense before. We know that dude has played in this stance before. Uh, so we know Alden Smith doesn't have an acclimation period in this defense. He can just line up and boogie. So while Everson Griffin and D Law continue to get acclimated, and like I said, man, it's gonna take some time. But we play 16 games for a reason. Like we'll get this thing figured out. Um, Alden Smith, if he's gonna continue to hold it down while the other guys get acclimated, cool. Um, also in like three more weeks, you know another. Guy Guy that's really going to be good in this system is randy gregory just another guy that can just roll out the bed and just be good plus he probably fits like stand up designated pass rush outside linebacker type guy a little better than d law and everson so if it's a situation where everson and d law are going to be hand in the dirt guys and alden and randy are going to be stand up outside linebacker guys it sounds fun now we got Alden Smith on the opposite side. He's on the left of the defense, right of the offense, and he has two hands in the dirt. Defensive end and a four-point stand. She'd love to see it. But once again, man, he's just going to beat dudes with power, man. But you know what? Not only – let me just bring y'all a little more detail than, than this right here, right? Not only is he just beating dudes with 
power necessarily right but he's beating dudes like this is this is where his his arm length is so important boom run it run it run it by the time he gets hands on you here and he extends that's like a bench press bro you see what i'm saying let me bring this back <laughs> it was just hold on that's like a bench press so just imagine alden smith bench pressing you and look at the offensive lineman's arms right now look at his hands I always preach hands inside, right? I know there's a lot of offensive line coaches that, that teach other things, but all my offensive line coaches have always taught me hands inside. We're trying to get to the chest plate. If you're an offensive lineman and you can't get your hands inside and you fully extend, but Alden Smith's fully extend is longer than your fully extend, you're not strong right here. This offensive lineman is not strong. And Alder Smith is, right? Alder, Alder Smith is probably stronger than him just in the term of pure natural strength, but the positioning gives Alder Smith additional strength. You see what I mean? And you you just you just gonna go on the ride. Oh my flip backwards. You just gonna go on the ride at this point. Take a look at him again. Boom, boom, boom. Extend you. Get your hands off of me. That was a great finish on the end, by the way, with the with the get your hand off of me. Mm, mm, mm. Good play, Alden Smith. Hey, man, I didn't want to hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to just look at a handful of Alden Smith's um, sacks or whatever. And I just wanted to get people off off of uh, of uh, D-Law. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, D-Law can be better. But I think D-Law is doing his job. He's doing fine. Um, also, I don't I don't think that the defense is doing very, very bad. I think if the defense just fixed those big plays that we give up every now and then, I think we'll be a little better there. Um, we probably would have beat the Seahawks if it weren't for just those one play big touchdown bombs. If we fix those, we'll be good to go. All right. Um, Y'all hold it down for the Dosky Wilson. Peace, Kiwiski, man. I got a new outro. Check it out. Peace.